guys what we got today is we got a uh, we got Wade's uh, TX 800 I haven't seen one of these in a long time we used to have a local CB shop around here he used to sell these he used to put the claim out there everybody that he was the builder um, in reality Steve out in LA was the builder of these things um, these were really really nice amps for what they were you know they were AB1 they uh, did really good watts, and um, I, I've still got one of these myself. I mean, these are definitely really nice amps. Uh, you can't go wrong. It's a shame the guy stopped building them. Um, like I said, they were they were really nice. Let me get the lids popped on this thing. He said he uh, smelled something burning in it, and we're going to figure out what's going on. We'll be back. Okay, guys, we're in the inside of this thing, and uh, fortunately for Wade, I'm thinking he does not have a pill burned up at all. Um, we still got to do a repair because I found out what it was that was smoking. Um, so we've got to fix that first. And what we've got is right back here. Let's see if we can get a little light on it. Help it out. See that? That's the input resistors for the one pill. And uh, that's what it looks like you've taken out there, Wade. That's your smell. That's your smoke. Uh, that's everything you got. And, of course, it darkened up the whole area in here. So we're going to clean that all up. Uh, get that... Uh, resistor repaired and then we'll fire this up and normally if that resistor goes out you uh, put a little bit too much into it that's probably what what happened here or uh, you had something else fishy going on but we'll get it repaired we're gonna fire this thing up and we're gonna see how she works man <clears throat> definitely good old boxes here's another thing kind of funny guys talk about coming up with this new technology all the time see this guys used to say this was double transformers kind of funny but uh it, it really wasn't and i know a lot of guys i even use this sometimes myself uh of course we'll take and we'll wrap it around you know we'll take a ferret bead and we'll do you know uh hold on i'll set this down and get a ferret bead here you know guys are taking these ferret beads and you know they're wrapping some wire around and they're coming straight off the hot bus straight down to where the pills are you know which balances the box out a little bit for power you know they call them different circuits I've heard guys call them bees and I've heard them call them this circuit or that circuit but in reality this is one of the things Steve come up with uh, back in the day it really really worked I mean a lot of people have adapted to it I see a lot of videos with guys putting these in there nowadays as a selling feature or they're saying oh look what I've invented um, this is a box that was made back in the 80s man you, you know, people didn't invent nothing. I mean, this stuff's been around for years. So, you know, um, it's definitely a good amp. These were things that, uh, you know, he had done back in those days. I mean, even right here, coming down to the one pill. Just a, a, a great little little uh, little thing he did. So, all right, uh, let's get this thing repaired. And um, we're going to get it uh, fired up in action and find out what's, uh, hopefully that's all that's wrong with it. All right, we'll be back with an update. Hey guys, back on Wade's uh, TX800 here. Found a couple things. This resistor right here uh, was cracked in half, most likely causing these two to burn up. I cleaned that whole section up. It's hard to see down in there, but it was all black. And uh, let me see if I can get down in there a little bit and zoom. But all that was black. We cleaned all that up for you, Wade, and uh, replaced these two resistors. <coughs> I've checked out the whole circuits on everything. Um, let's go ahead and flop on the power supply. We're at 14 and a half volts. <coughs> Stock cover 29. 1000 watt bird slug. 2500 on peak. <coughs> Excuse me. Right now that's about 150 watt dead key. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So as you see, you know, in here under uh, test conditions, we're seeing about, uh, what is that, 350 bird. I'm a 700 peak. Now we'll go to, I believe that's medium. I'm not looking at the amp. Medium. Oh, yeah. That must be low. 140 RMS. Oh, yeah. 400 peak. And then I believe that's medium. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So there you go. All fixed up for you so you should be good man took care of a couple other things I've seen in it too but uh, let me go ahead I'll show you uh, <coughs> one resistor sitting over here behind this Palomar 
as you see it's broken half and these are the two burned up ones there you go wait it's taken care of for you buddy hope you enjoy and stick me in at the new name cb shop if this is something that you have that you'd like to have done give us a shout we'll help you out we'll see you bye bye